India is a huge country with a population of well over 120 crores, 72% of whom, that is around 84 crores, stay in rural areas with over 641,000 villages and 12 crore farmers. Mahatma Gandhi was very right in saying that the soul of India lives in its villages. However, much of India's rural population lives with the challenges of poor infrastructure and lack of accessibility to urban market. Rural consumers and rural markets lack access to information, IT services and last mile connectivity, preventing the development of an efficient rural distribution system for supply of products and services. As a result, villagers and farmers must rely on local middlemen for most of their needs, an evil age-old system that siphons much of their earnings. Farmers invariably get poor prices for their produce, have access to poor quality agricultural inputs, and wide skill gap exists to find alternative means of livelihood for themselves and their families. A rural micro-business person or a youth has limited access to employment or livelihood opportunities that exist in urban areas. IBM has embarked on an ambitious journey to implement the Smarter Planet concept to transform villages into smarter village, to build an ecosystem that will deploy agriculture advisory services, to address the needs of farmers, to offer better quality seeds, fertilizers and pesticides, to create alternative livelihoods either through self-employment or wage employment and bring in market linkage. In other words, to build a smarter village for a smarter nation. By instrumenting all of the systems in your village, including market information and agricultural inputs, fertilizers and pesticides, employment opportunities, by interconnecting them with each other and other systems outside your village, such as agricultural specialists, rural advisory, potential employers, and by infusing this system with intelligence, such as IBM's Smart Rural Aggregation Platform, you can achieve critical benefits for your village, such as agriculture services, livelihood generation, that is, wage employment and self-employment, primary and preventive healthcare education, and financial inclusion. All this will be possible with the aid of IBM's Smart Rural Aggregation Platform, also known as SRAP, and collaboration with aggregators and rural entrepreneurs. There are four key players in the SRAP ecosystem. The idea is to build an inclusive business platform that can be used by any enterprise willing to do business in the rural market. Blue box here is IBM, the technology provider. Yellow box is the aggregator of rural services in the field. Green box is a rural entrepreneur manning the terminal and is a front end delivery point where the farmer will walk in to avail the SRAP service. The fourth player in the red box is a client industry. SRAP will be hosted on a cloud that will reduce the cost of technology for clients and aggregator through its pay-as-you-go plan. Aggregator will provide a shared distribution system for multiple services, thus reducing the distribution cost for the client and the consumer. Let us now quickly review the SRAP service offerings. The first service offering is the user registration module. The user in a village walks up to the rural entrepreneur and requests him to be registered in SRAP. Each rural entrepreneur will be connected at the back end with SRAP application, comprising of customer registration, web commerce, and other solutions of partners. The rural entrepreneur logs into SRAP and fills in the basic profile of the user like name, age, date of birth, education, marital status, income, below poverty line status, and so on. 
a photograph and identification detail will also be captured. The user will be charged with the nominal registration fee which is collected by the rural entrepreneur. The registration step ends when the rural entrepreneur gives a receipt to the user. The second service offering is the agricultural services including e-commerce. A farmer can use SRAP to seek specific agriculture services like buying seeds, fertilizers, pesticides and other products. The rural entrepreneur here will register the farmer for agriculture services by capturing the data like land details, type of crop, livestock details and so on. The rural entrepreneur will use SRAP to show the product catalog of different vendors to the farmer. The farmer will select the products from different catalogs of vendors. The rural entrepreneur then places the order on the SRAP system. The farmer makes a payment to the rural entrepreneur who will transaction the payment through the wallet system. The aggregator views the order on the system at the back end, aggregates such orders from different rural entrepreneurs and delivers goods to them via the supply chain. End result is that the farmer is assured of good quality products at the best price. The third service offering is a livelihood services. To ensure employability of rural job seekers, SRAP offers livelihood services wherein the aggregator and employers collaborate to reach the job seeker in a village. Let us see how it works. The user first approaches the rural entrepreneur to avail livelihood services. The rural entrepreneur registers the user as a customer and captures data. The rural entrepreneur collects the registration fees from the user and uploads the user's data and picture. The registration fees will be debited to the rural entrepreneur's prepaid account which is managed by the aggregator. The aggregator interacts with employers to define job categories, job availability and will manage applications. The employer will meet suitable applicants and finalize candidates for defined job categories. Likewise, many other services such as microfinancing, e-governance, healthcare, and so on can be introduced in due course of time. The long-term impact of SRAP is expected to trigger rural transformation in India. It will build a community of smart villages, create livelihoods and new businesses for self-employment, and create collaborative models for rural enterprises. It will increase income generation potential of rural citizens and create more business options for rural entrepreneurs. It will eliminate villagers' dependence on local middlemen who siphon away most of the earnings of the villagers. It will eliminate the vestiges of existing inefficient distribution system, thus reducing the prices of products and services, and will offer more options and better value for money to a villager. SRAP will also provide access to a new business growth area in rural market for the industry. An important value proposition of the project lies in IBM's ability to provide a scalable and sustainable solution across the country for the benefits to reach millions of rural population and bring in social and economic benefits to both ends of the rural market. That is, the rural people and rural business at demand and supply ends. Come and be a part of our journey to build a smart village. India is a huge country with a population of